Hey, welcome to or welcome back to Auntie's Cakery. This video I'm doing a maroon and gold cake, but there's something very special about this cake and time saving. If you want to find out what I mean, keep watching. I'm going to start with some edible lace that I pre-made and here I have some gold color mist. Going to spray that on the lace to make the gold lace. One spray is not quite enough, so I did two and three. Then I get some water, just plain old water, rub it on the cake, and then I'm going to wrap the lace right around that tear. Get it to stick slightly. Get my little steamer, steam that lace. It softens it up so I can help it stick to the cake even better. Get that second one to match up right there. Stretch it around. Then I will use my scissors to cut off the excess. In a different really popular video that I did, I made this rosette design on a cake, but I did each ruffle separately and individually and wrapped it. Like that tier only was about six to eight hours to do. It was really, really time consuming. And then Marvelous Molds came up with this ruffle rose mold. Now I'm gonna show you how easy and quick it is to make this beautiful, beautiful design. I've colored some maroon fondant, rolling it out. You'll see I'm rolling it out to the thickness of the inside of that mold. Then I'm pressing in with my fingers. And guys, I am pressing really hard. I want all those little details showing up. Then with my fondant smoother, I'll just smooth it off and it's self-cutting, so it just cuts right off. Then I place that on the cake, move it around. The second panel I'll squish up next to that as close as I can get it. It's not quite gonna match, so I'm gonna have to scooch it a little more with my fingers. Third panel and fourth panel. This is a 10 inch cake I'm decorating here. So it takes about five panels for a 10 inch cake. This one I stuck in the freezer. Oh, that does not quite fit. So I'm going to stretch it just a little bit to make those ends match up. Now I'm gonna make the top. This is something I haven't done before. We'll see how it works. Smooth out those edge real nice. And then I'm going to ruffle the edge. Really thin ruffles, almost like the mold does. Just crinkle it as I go around, making it match the contour of these little roses. Then I'll smooth the top. Did you notice all that cornstarch I had on these? Not a problem, just get my steamer and steam all that cornstarch away. While I'm at it, I'm going to show you one of their newer molds, this pinwheel flower mold. And of course, I added a little antique style. For the pinwheels, I am doing white fondant. Smooth it out again, just the thickness of the mold right there. Add some cornstarch so it comes out more easily. Lay the nice side on there and press it in with my fingers. This one I don't have to press as hard as the rose mold, but we do have to press somewhat firmly. And then again with a fondant smoother, I just rub it until it cuts itself into shape. And remove the extra. This one I'm putting on with piping gel. I use piping gel because it helps it stick to the foam better. If you're sticking it just to a buttercream, I think plain water will be just fine. The one good thing about this mold, it is six inches tall. So if you have a six inch tall cake, this will fit it perfectly. For this video, I am doing a four inch cake, so I'm going to be cutting off the extra. Oh, look how beautifully that fits together. Push it in with my fingers. 
And here you can see I'm just cutting off the top. Ta -da! And the last panel going on. Oh, it didn't quite fit. I gotta squeeze it and mold it and make that fit there. And again, I have to stretch the edges here just a bit. And cut off that last piece. I also made another panel and put it on top. And I'm going to press those together to make it look like it was all part of the plan. And now for my favorite! This is royal icing. One of my favorite icings to decorate. I've colored it maroon. I'm going to pipe a little snake-like shape and then taking a damp paintbrush. I'm going to take that icing and pull it inward. This technique is called brush embroidery. And I'm going to do that on a few of the flowers poking out here. Again, thank you so much to Marvelous Molds for sending me these beautiful molds. If you would like to get your own, go ahead and check the description box. There might be a surprise waiting for you. And after I've got all the outside petals embroidered, I'm going to make a little flower on the inside and embroider it as well. And I'll do that on all the flowers. Putting a couple on the top here. Can't forget the top. And last one, put a little center on there. We'll move on to the next step. Yes, gold, I have a little Wilton petal dust here of gold. I've mixed it with a little bit of alcohol. You can use lemon extract, it smells so good. Dip my sponge in a little bit, and then I'm going to place some gold on these rosettes, just in random places. Oh, look at that shine. I'm also gonna put some gold on the outside of these brush embroidery petals. And on the center too. So then I've incorporated the gold in the bottom tier, the middle tier, and the top tier. Time to stack. This is royal icing again. I use it as a glue to make sure those tiers stick together. And at the bottom of the six inch tier, I'll add a little pearl border. And there we have it. Thank you so much for watching this video to the end. I appreciate you all. Second, hit that super thanks button and donate to my channel so I can keep doing this. And if you don't have a donation to give right now, a subscribe or a like will help me immensely. It will help my videos get shown more often. 
So if you can help me out that way, I will continue to help you out by posting more videos of me decorating cakes. Bye! <laughs> creak, creak. I know, our floor squeaks. My husband was helping me with the camera work. <laughs>